hello friends welcome to geeky rabbit welcome to our series on jmeter so in this session we will see that how we can work on variable using bean shell scripting so let's start and first of all open our jmeter console so this is our jmeter console so first let us see that how we can uh, read a particular uh, variable value from using the bean shell scripting so for that let us first of all add the thread group let us add a http sampler first of all and let's add a listener so always add the listener to your test plan level okay and now uh, what we'll do is we will declare a your variable at the so we'll declare the url to be used at the test plan level so let's keep it simple so i'm hitting the google.com and in here we will be using the variable so the value will be put in here so the request should go to google.com so let's quickly see that whether it is going or not so it will ask for saving the test plan but for now let's keep it as no okay now you can see the request went in successful for google and we got the particular response data also okay so now in order so you know now we will fetch the value of variable using a pinchel preprocessor for doing so let's add it first so pinchel preprocessors are the things which work before the request goes in so now in here we will have to get the value of variable so let's write it down so that it is easy to remember and now uh we will use the jmeter context object named ctx uh, to fetch the value of variables now get variables method will fetch all the variables value in this object which is so let us down so this is the method which will fetch all the variable value and now again by using get method we will specify uh, and by giving the name of the variable we will fetch the value of the desired variable i also print it in console using the log info so for doing that first of all let's give the value of variable so we are fetching url so we need to fetch the value of url variable so let's write it down and then using log info will print it out so log dot info will help us print it out so we'll give a message the url of the current request is dash okay this is done and now close the bracket and colon yeah so this command will help us fetch the value of url variable and also print it out so for seeing the logs we will just make the log we were on and we'll clear the previous results and we'll run the test run again now if you can see so in first of all we'll see whether the request was successful the request went into google server and now as you can see here it is printing url of the current request is whatever the value is so this came in because we have given this command in here so in this way you can get the value of any variable and print it out or you can use it so now as we have seen how we can get a particular variable value now let us see how to change or update the variable name so for doing so uh, let's first write it down so now we will be what we will do change the variable value so using the same bean cell uh, preprocessor we will be changing the variable value before the request goes in so for doing do we need uh, to use again the context variable and this time we will have used the variables method but this time instead of get we will use put so get is uh, used in here to get the variable value and put is used to insert any value into the variable so now we will use we'll be inserting some other url that should go in uh, let's take like www.toolskiwe so before the execution of stdt sampler now this uh, variable uh, value should get updated and this value should get pick and now what's the meaning now yeah colon so now let us see we'll run and let us see what happens okay let us see what happened so first of all you can see this url of the current request is this this was printed because of this and now 
as we have changed the value, you can see in here the request went into tools queue instead of google.com. Uh, so even if the variable is present at the test plan level, as we have changed the value with the help of BNCL preprocessor before the execution of the request, this operation took place and this particular URL was substituted by tools QA link and hence this particular FTP request went to tools QA. So uh, in this way, the variable values can be changed at runtime and uh, it can be used in the HTTP sampler. So now one more thing that we can do is we will go and if we see if, if we delete this variable. So, and if we run this again, so now there is no variable. So now I delete this request should fail. So let us see what happens. We'll run it. And now, first of all, the printing will not happen because the variable name is empty. And now the HTTP request went into tools here. So in here, whenever you are putting any value, so the variable is created at the runtime and even though if it is not present, the request will go in. So this is one thing to note. And uh, it, the variable will be created and uh, JMeter will use the variable. But if you go in here and you can see there will be no variable created in here. So actual variable will not be created. It will be only created for that run. So now lastly, we have to check that how to delete or remove a particular variable using the bean shell scripting. So for doing so, let us quickly again create that variable. So that is URL. And we'll put it now, same, www.google, or you can give any name or your server URL here. Okay, so now we want to change or remove this variable before the execution so sometimes it's necessary to uh, change the value of few variables or we need to remove it from the request so they should not go in so for doing so we will go to the bingel preprocessor first of all we'll comment this out and now as we are we want to remove the variable value or you can say remove the variable remove or delete the variable. Okay, so now in here for doing so, what we will do is we'll use the same CTX object, then we'll use the same method, get variables, I guess the V is capital. And now in here, we will use remove. So we have seen get, we have seen put, now we turn for remove. And we'll say remove URL. Yeah, so now let us quickly clear out the results, previous result, and let us run this plan again. So now if we go to the view results, we can see now at test plan level, the URL variable is there and it is also holding a value. So ideally, when we are passing it through this HTTP request, it should pick the value. But because we are using BeanShell preprocessor, we are removing the URL. We are removing the URL value before execution of this HTTP request. And hence, if you can see in this listener, this will be going as the variable value. So it is not getting the actual value, and hence this HTTP request is failing. So this can be used to remove the variable value. And even if the variable exists at the test plan level, we have removed it before execution and it will not be used in the actual HTTP request. So in this way, we can play around with the variables and can get the variable value or we can create or update or also we can remove variable using the BeanShell preprocessor. And yeah, hope you have liked the content and do post all your questions, suggestions in the comment section below. So see you soon with more geometry related content. Until then, have a great time. Thank you.